Alright everybody, I'm back, and it's time for episode 28 of Army Men, and this is going to be a special episode, because you all know it's April Fool's Day today, so I decided, why not do an April Fool's of Army Men? In fact, I think this is the first ever, yeah, this is the first ever special I've ever done for, for Army Men. I've never done like a Halloween episode, I've never done Christmas, or anything, so... And April Fool's Day is not much, some say not a holiday, but I'll still say somewhat, so here it is, our first special episode, holiday special. So yep, the army men are doing some April Fool stuff, there might be a few pranks in this. And wait till you see what I got in store. Alright, who's leading the men? It's two, it's Steve and Michael. Well boys, we're back at the hideout. I usually win here. Although I lost last time a couple of a few episodes ago. Not this time! I will win this time. And I see that Michael's leading. Not Michael. Well, he's with Steve. Yeah, get your facts right. Screw you. Hey, don't start shit already, man. Whatever, let's go. Let's get started. I'm ready to whoop you. Yeah, look at that. I'm off to a good start. Yeah, and by the way, since we're running low on men in that bag, we're doing the thing you did at the beginning of adding men every time you kill someone of ours until the bag's empty. Then it starts emptying. Okay, that's fine. But if I'm killing high numbers each time, then I got you. Two. Oh, what's the matter, Sid? Don't worry, I ain't mad yet. If you think I'm going to rage already, think again. Whatever, Sid. Oh, really? That's all you gotta say is whatever? Yeah. Well, fuck you then. Hey, hey. How did you get up there without knocking a single army man over? God dang. My cat just climbed onto the dresser and she didn't even knock a single one over. I thought it was gonna be a big mess unless her tail hits them. How did you not knock an army man over? I'm surprised. They're still standing. Alright, I gotta keep going before she does. God damn it. I'm off the dice roll. Yeah, what do you gotta say now, bitch? Don't call me that. Oh my god, six of them. I hate you, Mike. You can't even get it right. I hate you, Steve. There, I said it. I got it right. What, you're gonna call me a dumbass now? No. Yeah, you are. Don't lie to me. I'm not gonna call you a dumbass. This time. Okay. April Fool's, motherfucker. What? You don't know it's April Fool's Day? Oh, yeah, I do. I got you. I got you with a prank already. You dumbass. Oh, that's it. It's on now. No, high number reversal, not in my favor. Five of them, come on, man. Oh, hey, Steve. What? Your shoe's on tie. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. I see laces. I see laces. I'm, I'm not kidding. It's not April Fool's joke. Look. Oh, you're actually right. Yeah, I told you it's not April Fool's joke. Sid say something to the viewers. Although I am getting ready to do an April Fool's prank on that bitch. Okay, so it actually wasn't a prank. My shoe was actually untied. Yes. Yeah, more well, your men are dead. Three of them. I'm gonna get you. Fuck, man! Lost the dice roll. That's four of them. Damn it! No, 
of them fell in the drawer. Hmm. I might get one of them. I gotta come up with a prank. Jack, Jack, you got any ideas for April Fool's prank? You gotta help me out, man. You usually loyal. I'll think of something, Sid. Hey, no, don't knock him over. Get back. No. No. Gosh, just like series one again. One episode where I have to keep pulling you off of them. Or like trying to keep from attacking them. Go off this way. Go off this way. Tell me when you got something, Jack. Okay, Sid. Yeah, more of your men are dead. Five of them. You're dead. Jesus, dude, how many fucking men do you got in that bag? There are a lot. No, you have that much left. Hey, get your hands off our bag, Sid. Yo, I'm checking. Ugh, the low number reversal. Oh, crap, I just realized I'm in the range. Don't you get a six? Oh no, it's five. I'm down to one. Already. Jack, please help me out of your man. I need a, I need a full brain. I ain't gonna let them get it all. Hey, Robert. What? I had a talk with Ethan a few days ago, and he told me that... He's taking you out of the, the war for your behavior. What? Yeah, that's right. He said he's going to take you out. He said he's had enough. Even wouldn't say that. Yeah, he did. He actually had a conversation with me saying that. What? He said you're not going to be in the episode tomorrow. Hey, guys. What? Th that can't be true. Yeah, he said that. He said you're not going to be in the episode tomorrow. I'm gonna ask him. No, you're not gonna ask him right now. You're not gonna ask him right now, Robert. Oh, come on, man. Can I please ask Ethan? No. You don't ask him. Guys, did he really say that? I, I don't know. I didn't hear anything. I don't know what this rumor is. That can't be true. This better not be true. I better not be taken out. Unfortunately, you are, Robert. Ethan is taking you out. No, he can't do that. He can't do double. God, don't get the one. Ah, oh, you missed. You missed again. How far are we? Eight minutes. Jeez. I thought we were longer than that. God damn it, another low number reversal. I hate I hate it when I lose it. Look away. You missed. Damn it, man. You missed again. Why do I keep landing on a one? You keep missing. Miss again. 
How are we not getting it? Yeah, gotcha. Two of them. Now I can move back over here. Let's see what down. What do you got to say now? Can't do double. Let me see if I roll both of them. Damn it! Yes! One. Wait, you forgot to add a few eyes. Hey, David. What? What do you got to tell me, Sid? What you got? I'm thinking of what I need to say. Hold on. So I ever tell you that What is it? Spit it out, man. Hold on. I got to think of it. Dude, if you don't say what it is, I'm going to get mad at you. Hold on. Hold on, David. Jeez, let me fucking think. All right, fine. Hurry up. There's a waste of my time here. Now, what did you say? Did I ever tell you what? You're wasting my time, man. Or even tell me what you're thinking of. Tell me, Sid. I'm, I'm actually not trying to make Sid not say anything. I'm trying to make him come up with something. I don't want to do the taking out of a series thing again. Did I ever tell you that? You are going to have a traitor on your side. What? Yeah, I looked for the things. One of these men is going to be a traitor. What? That can't be true. Oh, it is. Deal with it. That's all you gotta tell me. Well, it's a big news thing. Go on. Alright, sit on that roll. We'll come back with part two.